So we're gonna check out interview Martin Dewar. Hi, so who are you? Hi, thank you, fine. I'm a Lumix ambassador and here for uh, the people expanding cameras and making some shootings. And um, you use a lot this one? I use this uh, G9 uh, together with the um, uh, Noctitron uh, lens because it's super sharp and it gives me the uh, perfect shallow depth for uh, working with uh, people, portrait, photography, and, and Did all you that take kind this one stuff. with that or no? Yeah, sure. It's you took it with this? Yeah. It's Noctic taken, can you hold this yeah, one second? Yes, with so, and G9. Um, it allows to get oops, super sharp in the eye. Super sharp and uh, a nice bokeh uh, in the background. So it's uh, really uh, good use, very good lens and uh, good to carry. It's very light. It's very light, yes. The Noctocrine is your favorite lens? <laughs> yes, the uh, there are the 52-200 and the 10-25, uh, to 25, which is uh, relatively new um, uh, to the uh, whole range of the uh, Do lenses. you use the 10-25? to 25 or? Yeah, it's very good. For photo? For photo, because it's more into um, street photography and uh, architectural photography. So it's uh, super sharp and it's uh, uh, also it's a bigger lens, it's very lightweight. And um, you also use the new uh, uh, S1, right? Yes, sure. And this oh, S1R? This is the S1R together is that the one with you the, use the, or the S1? 50 millimeter um, lens, 1.4. How is that lens? It's wonderful. It's super sharp, and there have been tests where, where it is uh, better than the uh, um, uh, 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 Zeiss lenses. So it's a really, really good lens. Really sharp? Really but, sharp uh, and easy to use. Because Which one do you prefer playing, uh, working with this or, or? To be honest, I'm using both. In uh, a lot of my shootings, I'm using both cameras. I have them side by side, and uh, whenever I, I want to uh, to choose, it's no problem. So because the menus of uh, the cameras are nearly the same, and therefore it's very easy to use. Uh, the whole range of cameras. Of course, uh, you are Lumix ambassador, but uh, is it possible that I can ask? Mm -hmm. Do you think there's no better full-frame mirrorless in the market? <laughs> uh, for me, it's the um, it's a real, real good um, uh, camera because I can work with it all day, and the um, especially the uh, the grip is very ergonomical, and so um, I'm definitely tired carrying the camera. It's very uh, reminiscent of the G9, the one I'm using to film this video. The designs are the grip is. Um, it's uh, kind of like a big brother of this yeah, one, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. And all the kind of like the style. Yeah, the style and, and every uh, knobs and menu points are uh, nearly the same. So it's not a big deal to work with both cameras at the same time. So this is a, a Leica? Yeah, it's a Leica. A Leica and the 50 to 200 is a Leica? Yeah. And the uh, 10 to 25 I is think a Leica? It's, uh, well. Yeah, we have it here. Yeah. yeah. It's also a Leica brand, yeah, I think so. it's a Leica right brand. here. Yeah, yeah, oh, this is an amazing is. lens, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you explain, what do you think about it? Yeah, even it's a, a bigger lens, it's very lightweighted. And um, you have very precise control, because very smooth. And it's perfect if you have from, let me say, portrait to uh, wide angle shooting. Uh, it's uh, the ideal uh, companion for the camera, for the G9 or GH5 or whatever. But of those three lenses you talked about, the 42.5 Noctocron, the 10 to 25, and the 50 to 200, only the 50 to 200 has dual IS. No? Yeah. This one doesn't have also. Uh, Isn't dual IS really useful for uh, photography? Yeah, it is, but um, the stabilization inside the camera is so good that. Um, it's working. It's really working. So it's working great, even with yeah. the lens that is not stabilized yeah. like this one. Yeah. It looks really, really nice, but it's bigger than my my uh, uh, twelve to sixty Leica. Yeah. And it's not stabilized, but also it's a little bit expensive or something. I think I'm not sure, but yeah, I think uh, it's a little bit expensive. It's but, a little bit expensive, but but the, it is a dream the, lens. It's for, dream lens. For my it's video. super sharp, and uh, the image quality is perfect. When I shoot the video now, it'd be wider. It'd be nice to have a wider yeah, view. Yeah, a little bit wider. It's 10 millimeters, yeah. yeah. It does it something different, right? And it has a 1.7 only. 1.7, yeah, yeah. Very. 
it's great. Very good. All right, awesome. And uh, this is my lens. No, yeah, not quite. Good. Not quite. I have the Leica. Oh, I have this. Oh, okay, yeah, this yeah that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you use this or not, this lens? Uh, not too often. So, but it, it's, a, it's a perfect lens, I know. It's a perfect lens. But um, as a portrait photographer, I'm, I'm doing more um, portrait stuff. So, sure, I have the uh, 50 to 200 millimeters. And I can, I can show you a picture I did with uh, with the 50 to 200, it's only on my phone, but I will show it to you. Maybe that's. Do you use it a lot, the 50 to 200? Yes. Yes. It's a really good. This has been taken with the 50 to 200 on the G9. So, um, you've been photographer for a while before also doing Panasonic stuff? Yeah. How I'm is it the life in the Panasonic world compared to what you were doing without Panasonic uh, before? For what me, you it's, for it me it's perfect because it's uh, uh, like for a cook having a good knife, it's, 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 a, it's a working bench and I can work with that tool day and night. I don't have to think about uh, menu points or uh, things that doesn't work. It exactly meets my my goals. I'm more an artist than a technical photographer, so it gives me all the freedom and creativity I can have or I want to have. So this is for me the right choice. What were you doing before the Panasonic? What were you using? I Nikon have, uh, or Canon? Uh, or? Nikon, Nikon D800. D800. Mm -hmm. So how is the difference to do work in a DSLR and work on this stuff, right? I don't want to go back. <laughs> for sure. I, uh, don't want to have a, a DSLR. What's the main difference? What's the main? You see what you get exactly in yeah, the. Yeah, you see what you get. I'm, I'm very um, eager about um, having the result immediately. I want to see how I can compose my images, uh, uh, how they will look in black and white. I often shoot in black and white, uh, only on the on the screen, uh, to see the uh, the contrast and all the light and dark areas to get a better feeling for the image. So, and, and everything you can do is easy to uh, manipulate. All the, uh, the ratio, the image ratio, which is not possible on a DSLR, so. Do you think, um, do you think Panasonic has been able to, uh, when, you, when you look at the, the S1, right, um, match or exceed whatever Sony's doing? Yeah. Um, Sony for me was never a solution because they are too small, the cameras, too small and not so, and I don't like the menu, but, but this is a very personal It's important opinion. to work with the menu. Yeah. It's like uh, every day you have to go through the menu, you want to be effective, yeah. get to your vision. Yeah. So. But how about the, the performance and all that? The performance for me is perfect. So perfect. I, uh, there's nothing I, uh, okay, there are always minor things like uh, they switched the uh, the on yeah, yeah. from the uh, G9, and, uh, which has been in the front of the camera yeah. dial, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is perfect in parallel. Yeah, which is perfect. This, I like this. And, yeah, I like. They have made it again. Uh, on the like S1H. This on the S1H. Yes. Did you play with the S1H? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Did you do any video? No. No. Not. Just so, for just for behind the scenes, maybe, but uh, not really video. So let's say you have a project right now. Mm -hmm. How do you decide full frame or micro four thirds? It How depends. Do you it depends on the um, uh, the wishes the client has. If I know the client, let me say the uh, fashion shooting, and they want to make uh, huge prints, then I use the S1 or S1R. Um, if they are only for online presentation or for small uh, printed uh, uh, catalog, then I use the G9. So it, it's probably 90% G9, and I'm joking, but very few people do large prints. Like this is, a, it's not even a photo, it's a drawing. Yeah. It's rare. But I see I see in large prints from the uh, G9, uh, two by three meters, and they it's look working amazing perfect. also. Uh, yeah. so, so are you a fan more of the Micro Four Thirds or the full frame? Oh, you, you I can couldn't say. I couldn't say at the moment. I love the Micro Four Thirds. Uh, and the, the size of the cameras because it's really, really um, good to carry. I had this uh, GX9 in Portugal for a shooting uh, with two lenses, uh, the 12.5mm um, uh, and the, um, I think it was the, uh, yeah, 42.5mm. That was enough. 
You put the Nautic Town on this? Yeah. I it was do enough. Everything, everything. And you, everything. See, you see it when you do uh, complex um, uh, sunlight shootings. And you see, you can really good um, compose the light rays and the sun coming into the screen behind the model. Uh, this is easy, even easy to use with the uh, uh, GX9. So, so the main difference between like a GX9 and a yeah. G9 is the buttons and the stuff like that. Yeah, and you have. Uh, Otherwise, uh, the performance. Yeah, more uh, serial, um, serious could could uh, faster serious could you shoot with the G9, mm -hmm. which is not possible with GX9, but uh, for traveling. For me, it's very, very important to have two XD card slots because I have SD okay, cards yeah, that break. See, yeah. uh -huh. oh, you yeah. do this where you record your both because it's important if you have a customer, yeah. you don't want to lose the, no, the files, right? That's correct, yeah, yeah. You can't really do that on this one. No. Oh. So, all right. And what Canon and Nikon are doing is, uh, I'm joking, but <laughs> this is this is working. What's happening here, right? Yeah, oh, it's working. Yeah. It'd be nice to see uh, what's coming next in the Micro Four Thirds. What do you me want? Me too. I. What do yeah. you want? I want a, um, um, a Tracer of the uh, G9. I not even I'm ambassador. I don't know what's coming. So, but what you let's hope see. for? You have some. Now this is the camera at the moment. It's really good. So, <laughs> not too much wishes. I like. I also like the. Um, I'm often using the uh, filter um, menus because they have a very nice and adjustable um, black and white modes. So I can uh, when I when I record in uh, JPEG and in RAW, I also can decide afterwards mm -hmm. will I use it in, in color or take out the the JPEG, which is often perfect. Uh, how about the ND filters? Do you care about this kind of stuff or? At the moment, not. So maybe for landscape photographers, it's um, important. But uh, <coughs> do you mostly take pictures of people? Yeah, I mostly take pictures. That's the best, right? Landscape, yeah. we don't care so much about those trees and stuff. You have to get up very know. early. Yeah. <laughs> and people wake up late, it's much better sometimes. All right, so, thank you very much. Thank you much for your time. Thanks. I'm looking forward to the next Micro Four Third GH6. I want I wanted to have everything. Yeah, they will come. Oh.